Hi, I'm Megan Bell Smith. I'm so glad you're here to read Digits Place with me. Be sure to get out your practice pages so that you can complete the math problems with Digit the Squirrel. Have fun learning about place value. Digits Place, written and illustrated by Megan Bell Smith. Penny Penelope Payne stared at her homework again. The numbers gave her a fit. I can't understand, I quit. I'll help you learn, my dear, her mom said and wiped a tear. We'll make sense of this work, you'll see, by starting with a house in a tree. Welcome to the Base 10 Woods. Deep in the charming Base 10 Woods, Digit the squirrel unpacked all his goods. One acorn he counted all for himself, inside his one house, atop his one shelf. Until... In came his brother, who promptly unpacked, nine more acorns wrapped up in a sack. My room is too full to hold your kind gift. On to the next place they'll have to shift. Ten times as many move left one door. The places get bigger with more room to store. I'll bundle this bunch so my room has more space. Each number has value, and each has a place. Until... Aunt Dinah appeared at the door with a bag. Ninety acorns, in bold, read the bright-colored tag. Move to the left, come this way. We'll find a place for them to stay. For ten times as many, move left one door. The places get bigger, with more room to store. Let's bundle this bunch so the room has more space. Each number has value, and each has a place. Until old Uncle Pete knocked on the door and quickly unzipped 900 more. Climb the next tree. We'll find a spot to hold each acorn that you brought. Until Great Grandpa Jones appeared with a case of 9,000 acorns truly filling the space. Move to the left, said Pete in a hurry. So many acorns caused Digit to worry. But Great Grandpa Jones sensed his grandson's fear and thought that, surely, he could spread some cheer. He taught that numbers go up and go down, and there's always more space for the numbers around. Remember, ten times as many move left one door, the places get bigger with more room to store. We'll bundle this bunch so this room has more space. Each number has value and each has a place. Until... Without notice, Digit's cousins came rushing on in, with stacks of acorns piled up to their chins. Ninety thousand more nuts, they just won't fit, but over one door there is room they can sit. Until... Thump! Digit heard a deep grumbling sound. What he saw was a dump truck rumbling the ground. Nine hundred thousand, this just cannot be! We'll move our load to the very next tree. Until... Whoosh! A large helicopter came from the sky. Nine million small acorns began to fly. Let's bundle them up all nice and tight and take them next door till they're all out of sight. Until... A spry magic elf at the door soon appeared with a tall pointy hat and a long tussled beard. He wriggled his wand and recited a spell. Then ninety million acorns rapidly fell. Help, cried Digit, who was lost in debris. We're out of room, you all must agree. Indeed we are, exclaimed each cousin. They moved the acorns by the dozen. At last, with each acorn accounted for, the millions tree filled to the top of each drawer. We're ready for winter in our humble space. Each number has value and each has a place. Until... A flashy spaceship came into sight. Then nine hundred million acorns took flight. The good-natured aliens waved as they left, and each tiny squirrel began to heft. For a billion acorns they now must lift. Into the next tree each one will shift. They bundled the bunch to make more space, because each number has value and each has a place. The next day Penny smiled a bit more as she walked through her classroom door. For now she knew of a place value street where acorns were stored so nice and neat. And when ten times as many moved left one door, the places got bigger with more room to store. 
You can bundle a bunch so a room has more space. Each number has value and each has a place. And her teacher, though thrilled with Sweet Penny's new skills, could not understand the drawings that panned. The doodles on paper showed a spaceship in vapor, a copter and dump truck about to get stuck, and acorns aplenty, for sure over twenty, an elf or a midget, and a squirrel named Digit. The End <laughs>